Would I like to take a trip? Um, no, because I'm quite obviously already on one. Hello and welcome! I am Triple Helix and this is Guacamelee, the luchador-themed beat-em-up Metroidvania-esque thing by Drinkbox Studios that first came out on the PSN a while ago and now has been ported to PC and this will mark day two of games that I am um, doing a first impressions of of the course of four days so uh, without further ado as I've said in the last episode let us get into this uh, as you can tell luchador themed quite obviously but that's not that important um, right off the bat you'll notice that the art style in this game is actually really nice. I really like the art style of this game, and it's- the art style is really nice. It's really well animated in my opinion, and its sense of humor I also really enjoy, as you can sort of just tell from some of the billboards around here. So I guess I should probably get into some of the game that involves playing it, so let me just see. Uh, we have to go over there. So we'll head this way. Also, this game is very non-linear. There have been a number of different levels that I can go to, but I have no but I have no way of getting through because I currently don't have the powers to do it. So it's very it, it's very sort of it definitely is sort of like Metroid or Castlevania where you get what is this? That's right, little chicken. I'm just an inanimate object. A little bit closer. Mmm, that corn on the ground looks yummy. Oi, you scared him off. What are you looking at? I just realized they said oi. That's a British thing. That's not what this game is going for. What, what are you looking at? I'm a, mo I'm a mute, so. Sorry, I wasn't always such a mean Olmec head. I used to have my Olmec brothers. Well, wow, that's interesting. I wonder if he knows the guy from Spelunky. But they have been spread across the world. If you find any of them, they can teleport you back to me. All right, cool to know. Um, I'm going to point out right now that I did go back a little bit just so I could, um, so I could play a part that I sort of knew, because I've played much further into the game, but I didn't want to spoil too much. So I'll just start here. Temple of Rain. Ooh, there's a chest up there. Can't get to that chest right now with my powers. So we'll run. Uh, I will start talking about some of the combat in a little bit, but first let's go into this. This is the, this is the shop where you can buy abilities, costumes, or just walk away as it says. Costumes give you different powers, and you can choose between Juan or Tostada, and apparently this game is two-player, although I don't believe, I believe it is only local two-player, which on a PC is harder, is easier said than done, but anyways, you can pick different costumes and then pay for them, and they give you different powers and stuff, so that's a lot of, that's a lot of fun, but then there's the, well, then there's the actual abilities, which give you different power-ups and stuff like that, so you can do different cool things while you can, like, grapple people, and pile-drive people, and all of that fun stuff, but it's better to show you than to talk about it, and I'm not gonna talk to that guy. Well, I have to talk to that guy. Whoa, 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 hold up. Are you going into that temple? I was just in there, and trust me, you don't want any part of that. Creatures have been appearing out of thin air, and I swear I caught glimpses of the world of the dead. I barely made it out alive. Also, just as I was leaving, the temple sealed itself shut. So, I don't know how you plan on getting in there anyway. Well, I'll find a way. Because otherwise the game couldn't progress. Uh, not happening. Alright, well I guess I'm gonna have to go investigate this thing up here. Huh! Temp- Alright, World of the Dead. So, into the temple we go, in the World of the Dead. Oh, and by the way, whoops, is there enemies? I am an undead luchador, so... The story is ridiculous, and it takes itself as such, and I sort of like that. It's a story about- that was a bad dodge. Um... You're, you start off and, ah, uh, oh my, who do we have here? Is this Husky Luchador I've heard Jaguar Javier speak of? Hmm, seems like he skipped out on the best parts. <laughs> I don't need to do the laugh because it's doing it for me. Ah, uh, Luchador, loosen up. I suppose you're looking for Kalaka. He's off with the flame face and that girl, preparing for his ceremony. Maybe instead of chasing after them, you and I could have a bit of fun. Bam. 
Mm, no effect. No, I'm, I'm too... I'm single, lady. I'm trying to save the girl that you happen to have kidnapped. Well, if we meet again, maybe you'll be worth my attention. But right now, Kalaka's pet, Alebrihe, calls to me. He's known in the need of some seriously heavy petting. <laughs> Not gonna bother to pronounce that. We have a guest. Please make him comfortable. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna fight something. Let's go. And this is where they introduce new enemy types and stuff. You see. Oh, I totally forgot to do the pile driver. Oh, well. So, as you can see, just getting into some combat here, you can punch enemies with the X button, do simple combos, and then you can do stuff like throw them in a different direction, grapple. Ow, that hurts. Grapple them in midair, and then proceed to beat them to death with each other as you can throw each them into other people. Then you also have special moves, like, I, I can't even tell where I am. Oh, there's a lot of guys here. Let's just throw this, clear this out. Yeah, it can get a bit hectic. This is one of the earliest times in the game where it actually gets really hectic. So, something that I definitely like about this game is the combat, because it's really smooth and definitely flows really nicely. Just the whole, the moves that you can do are a lot of fun and all of that. And then at the end of all of these big arenas, you get a pinata. And as you can see what I did right there, that's a that's a, a special power that uses one of the two bars in the top that regenerate over time so that you cannot use it infinitely. I feel like there's just a lot to talk about in this game. This is sort of introducing a puzzling mechanic of how these portals work. The portals to the world of the undead and back to the world of the living, so you have to jump between them to get from place to place. Also, those shops right there work as a checkpoint and health. I'm not entirely sure what's in here, but we might as well find out, right? Because why not? Uh, giant... Giant... Thing up there. So, that's always fun. I don't think I can get in there, so it doesn't even matter. Just head up. But yeah, the combat's a lot of fun in the sense that it's it feels really smooth and it's engaging, which I like. Oop! Oh. Yeah, this is between the world of the living and the world of the dead, so we have to go over here and beat this guy up. Can I throw him into the world of the living? Well, I missed, so I don't know. Okay, got it. Yeah, you grab them and then you can just throw them and smash them into things. You can also do a pile driver, but I totally forgot how to do that. So, maybe I'll remember. But there's different combos and stuff in this game that you can do. As, as well as grappling in midair and stuff, which can be a lot of fun. Just overall, I think the combat is really nice and definitely a big, strong point of it. I still, for the life of me, can't remember how to do the pile driver. Whoops, that's not this world. Ugh, that hurt. Oh, it's, that, was, that was it. But the combos are easy to learn. They're not overly complicated or anything, which should be expected. So, I'm not sure that the combat ever, will ever get boring. Just because I haven't spent a whole ton of time with it. Or I, I've spent enough time. i spent about an hour with this game. But the time that I have spent with it has, for the most part, been... Um, I haven't got found the combat really annoying yet. But I feel that it could get really old. Ooh, looks like we're going to be fighting this guy. Or maybe not. We'll just climb on top of him. Yeah, we'll just climb on top of him. That's fine. Well, there we go. The combat is definitely a lot of fun, and it, as you can see, it has these sort of Metroid-y things right there, which you'll notice in that. Like I said, this game's sense of humor is pretty good. Holy guacamole! Dude, why you gotta go and break my Chozo statue perch? That was my perch, man! I don't know why I'm talking like that. Oh well, time to teach you the new move you just got from this statue. I call this bad boy, the Goat Jump. It's easy. It's easy breezy. Press A when you hit the wall to Goat Jump. My friends told me to call this... Sweet move, a wall jump. But that didn't feel goaty enough. All right, so now we can wall jump. So I guess that just means we can jump up walls. Pretty simple. The moves you get in this game aren't overly complicated or anything. Well, this is just not going well. There we go. I think the thing down there may have woken up. Nope, it's just crashed through this and got down here. Alright, well... Alright, I guess I'm not going down there. So this wall jump will hopefully let us do something. Hey, it's a giant rooster. 
Hey man, you get lazy while up on a wall, hold the water thing on tight. Or press, or just, or don't press anything and just let it slide. Oh yeah, and don't forget you can do a bigger wall jump by holding down A too. Okay, you can go. Thank you, wall rooster. Er, combo chicken. Or combo rooster, I don't remember what you're called. Like I said, you know, as you can tell when you're talking to... If you're going to be talking to a chicken to teach you combos, it's pretty... This game doesn't take itself really seriously, and I really like that. The story is nice and engaging enough, which I still haven't actually described yet. The story basically, um, you are a luchador. Or you aren't a luchador. You're just a farm boy who, then when you find the mayor's daughter, has been kidnapped by people in the... Oh, no, that was terrible. Uh... I think I'm gonna have to come back to here. Yeah. Like I said, Metroidvania in that sense, where you can't just go to everything as soon as you want to. Haven't checked this out yet. What's in here? A wall jump. Oh. No, that's not gonna happen. Alright, well, I guess I'll just leave. Oh, maybe I have to do this. Because then I can... Let's see. Because I want to go try and get that red chest, because that'd be pretty cool. But, trying to think of strong points. The music is really nice. The art style I really enjoy. Oh, no. No way to do that. The art style is really enjoy. I really like the art style of this game. Um, there is its lovely sense of humor, and it also has its... The combat I like, although I feel like it could get a bit old, although I don't think I spent enough time with it to know. I think it would require a lot more hours than I put into this so far. And in order to get this video out in time, I didn't think that that was actually possible to do. And let me see here. Ah, uh, no, I don't think there's any way to do that right now. I guess I'll have to come back later when I get more skills or something. Hmm. I don't think I have to go all the way, all this way back to go. Let me see. I'm gonna head back up here just to see if there's anything else to use my newfound power on. My power of wall jumping. But. The sense of humor, really nice. The art style, really nice. The music, really nice. The combat, I feel like it could get old. Although, there, I, I, again, I can't really... I'm not going to judge that fairly. I can say it feels like it could get old, but if they th like the way they throw an enemy variety and stuff, I don't think that it's going to get old very quickly. I feel like I could be engaged for the duration of the game. Whoops, that was pretty bad. I'm going to jump over here and see if I can make it. Didn't quite. Uh... I keep drowning. Uh, let's jump there, then that way. And there, and there. Nope. There. And there. There we go. Back. I don't know what good that did us. Oh. Can we... We can't get up here, can we? No, sadly. I don't need more health combo chicken or rooster. Whatever your name is. I swear for the life of me, I can't remember what to do here. Oh, well. May employ some editing just so I can figure out what to do so that we don't have to watch me fail for 20 minutes. Oh, there we go. All I had to do was do the rooster open cut. Oh, well. Anyways, now that we're back from that, uh, we get to get in some more combat. Oh, that hurt. That was bad. We get to get in some more, some more combat. And I really say it is a lot of fun to just... Uh, you can dodge, but I'm just terrible at it. You can, it's really fun to just throw enemies around the place and watch them fall to their deads. It's kind of hilarious, in my opinion. It's just enjoyable overall. Oh, I think I get what we have to do. We have to go here, and that way, like that. And up here. Perfect, next checkpoint. Don't know which way to go. I'll just go this way, because I feel like it. Oh, there's nothing fighting here. Ow, that was bad on my part. Grab this guy, throw him into that guy. Beat him up some more, throw him, and hit the ground. He's not dead. Now he's dead. Like I said, just smooth combat overall that I feel like is engaging enough, although I haven't played with it long enough to know for a fact whether or not it's going to get old. And what I collected right there, that was a stamina token, although I don't really know what they're actually called, if they have another name. Oh no. Whoop, that hurts. Let's just over here, roll through these bones, and knock them into the lava. Why aren't they in the lava? Oh, there's another thing there. Oh, that stinks. That's a good game. 
Oh, my pinata. Forgot about that. And all this money that I'm earning can be spent to unlock more upgrades. Can I just ruin oh no! Oh, they tricked me. Why would they do that? They're both dead. That was a bit mean. Now they're dead. Not gonna do this time. Boop! Body slam. You can also do combos in midair, but it's not as juggly as Devil May Cry or anything like that, so... Alright, where's my pinata? Nowhere. Alright, I guess we're just moving on. Ooh, that's a big guy. Ugh! That was bad. We just... Nope. I just flew off the screen. What does that do? Oh, that's not what I want to have happen. Because now I'm in the wrong world to... There we go, back in this one. Uh, yeah, because he can still hurt me, but I can't hurt him. Just roll out of the way of that. Because I think that whenever you roll... Oh, there we go, he's dead. Whenever you roll, just automatically... Oh, that's really I'm close to death. Alright. I'm going quiet because I have to focus. Beat up all the skeletal enemies. There we go. That helped. Body slam. Alright, now back to this world and kill these two suckers. Yes, just grab him, body slam him, and that should get him across the crossfire, beat him in the air, and throw him into the air, and then uppercut. And then, dab. Because why not, right? Although, there we go. And I feel like that I have to mention I am playing this on an Xbox 360 controller because... I haven't tried keyboard controls, although I have, no, I have no desire to do so. I feel like on the Xbox 360 controller, everything works out pretty well. So, I can't give you a fair opinion on the controls on the PC. What new power have I gotten already? Goat. Dude, seriously, stop breaking my stuff. Seriously. Whatever, time to teach you all the old mechs but It's easy cheesy. Press B while standing still to send those Esqueletos sky high. Pretty easy. Now get going before I find your mother. That should just break that. Yep. Pretty simple. Okay, so as you can see there, it's introducing that sort of whole idea that you can use newfound powers to do newfound things. As in, like, oh, this is, um... Hmm. Oh, I know what I have to do. That, that, there we go. Um, because now we can break through these green blocks. Which is nice, I really find it nice that it actually shows you which blocks, like, are broken with which power, so you don't actually have to think about it. So that means we can head back. Well, there. I'm just terrible at this. There we go. So we can head back up here, because there was a green block up here, if I remember correctly. Which there is. Let's see, is there anything in here? It could be the next area, but who knows. I'm hoping it's not the next area. Like I said, this game highly encourages exploration, which I really enjoy. Hey, it's Olmec. Would you like to take a trip? Um... No thank you, Olmec. Maybe next time, bud. See you later. Actually, you know what? I might as well, because I'll head out of here. Yeah, I would like to take a trip. Thank you. Um... I don't think I can go to these yet, so I guess I'll just go to this... Um, well, oh, never mind, that is where I am right now. I have to stay here because that's my, where my objective is. Whoops, I'm gonna get the mouse pointer off the screen. Where is he? He is even further up. Okay, I guess we'll just continue our path upwards until we find him. Or until we get more powers, which may be entirely necessary. Oh, wait, no, we don't need more powers, we just need to do this. I always forget that this is, like, functions sort of as a double jump. There we go. Oh, two enemies. The combat isn't overly challenging as of yet. They're like, they um, show enemies off that require special things to actually kill, but nothing too hard or complex yet. Which I could feel could be the game's, you know, it definitely is approachable by newcomers. More so than your typical fighting game. But, it is definitely plenty of fun. It's more just like a beat-em-up rather than a actual 
fighting thing, which I can totally fine with, and it's really enjoyable. I feel like I'm going more on the combat than I really should be, but, you know, I feel like it has to be said. That was terrible. Um, oh, I can do that, and that, or just miss it terribly. It's right there. Nope, totally missed. Just gonna drown. Thankfully, this game does not punish you for falling, which I highly appreciate, because falling... I hate games that punish you really, like, a whole ton for falling when it's really hard not to do so. Uh, I'm just being absolutely terrible here. Uh, wait for one of those things to regenerate. I do find that sort of annoying, although thankfully they regenerate sort of quickly. I would much prefer if the things regenerated faster. Ah, uh, there we go. But, again, a minor complaint. They're not, it's not that bad. They don't regenerate as fast as I would like them to, but they don't necessarily regenerate super slow either, thankfully. Uh, let's switch that. And slide, jump, slide, jump. So, the game does introduce some elements of, like, puzzle platforming, which isn't, it's not super hard by any, not, like, standpoint or anything. It's not shrine level. It just uses some gimmicky sort of things. Gimmicky isn't the right word. It just requires you using your powers to figure out what to do with them. If I'm right. That should be a health. Yep, that is a thing of health, which I already had three of, and I upgraded my health a little bit. Once you get three of either of those things, it upgrades your health, or your stamina, depending on which you get three of. Whoops, that was bad. I forgot that you have to do like this. Jump. Over here. Oop, I did it again. Did it again. Oh my goodness, I'm just absolutely terrible. Jump. Slide, jump. So I can get over here. Oh no. I keep forgetting. Well, I could be here all day. Alright, this is time we're making it, guys. I'm gonna do this. Here we go. Uh, almost messed that up, but... Okay, I got it. It only took me um, a million and three tries. It's fine, though. Uh, as you can clearly see, I am not good at platforming. Oh, hey. Lady again. Luchador. You haven't seen an Alibrije around here, have you? He's large, multicolored. Looks like a fish mixed with a cat snake. He's about the size of a house. Ah, what are you? Are you hiding him, Luchador? Every second I look is one more second Kalaka spends alone with that sacrificial trout. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, you had to see that, Luchador. Now I have to go find that stupid other Brihe. Next time we meet, maybe we can truly tango. Alright. Good enough. Ooh, that wasn't... Didn't see that coming. Alright, let's speed this guy up. And I'm sure that you can employ more strategy into this combat than I really do, and that I'm probably just terrible at it, but, you know, that's me. Stop hitting me in the face. Oh, I'm gonna get just repeatedly annihilated. And now, whoops, grab him and throw him. You don't have to do that, but why not? It's just, it makes it so much more satisfying. Green guys. Green guys are the easiest. I think all of them have their own, like, special things. Greens are just absolutely useless in every way. They're just, like, cannon fodder for you to, like, throw around and beat up. Because it's fun. Because killing things is fun in video games, you know? Oh, that's bad. Didn't expect that, honestly. Uh, let's grab this guy. Oh, that wasn't a good roll. Also, you get, um, extra points for combo, which I totally forgot to mention. You get points for doing certain attacks and certain combos and avoiding attacks and not getting hurt. Sort of, um, sort of like Devil May Cry or Batman where you get, um, your combos ended after you take a hit. So, you can build up your combo, do a certain number of hits and get bonus points for your combos, which is a lot of fun because it encourages being not terrible at the game, which I certainly am. Ah, uh, there's a guy up there. Uh, I can just jump to that. I drowned. There. Up. Oh, well, didn't do the uppercut, apparently. I guess we'll just punch this guy in the throat. Oh, there we go. Dodge that appropriately. You can dodge in midair. The game is very, um, generous with its dodging, where you can just sort of dodge anywhere. Which is definitely nice, because it means that you're not punished for being bad at the game like I am. Whoops, that's bad. I forgot that I'd, I didn't think I was actually going to get that. Let me just not switch. 
I don't get that. Why can't I hurt them in the other dimension? I mean, I'm an undead luchador, right? Shouldn't I be able to hurt them because I'm undead? I mean, they're just regular dead, aren't they? I'm special. I'm undead. Just uppercut because it's easier. Yeah, the uppercut is definitely used for comp, uh, platforming as well as everything else. And here's another platforming section which I'm likely being stuck at for 30 minutes. Here we go. Come on. Make it up there. Any day now. There we go. Over here. Jump. And I apologize so much for how terrible I am at platforming. Especially considering that um, I used to play Splunky on the channel. And that... Uh, that I was actually just as terrible at, so it's okay. Stairs, because why not? Maybe we'll uh, get to fight a boss. The stairs sort of annoy me, but that's just, again, a minor complaint. Overall, I feel like I, I really do enjoy this game. A lot. I really, really enjoy this game. Oh, hey, it's Tostada. Juan! It looks like Kalaka carried out the ceremony here, but you've missed it. I wonder where they've gone. Maybe you should head back to Santa Luchita and look into the clues. Wait, what was that? I have a bad feeling about this. Quick, get out of here! What's going on? Oh no. It's what's his face. Get in our way. Hey, bud. There we go. Oh, he is very mad. Uh. Oh, there we go. I was like, I'm sort of stuck here. No, I'm good. Okay, good. So he's both living, living in bed just as I am. Oh, breaks it here. There we go. Oh, no, what? Excuse me. Sorry. Just not gonna fight you. Not gonna bother. Oh, very stuck. Very stuck. Excuse me. Ugh! Oh, he crushed me to death. Oh, just responsive from the checkpoint. All right, get that one more go. And I think after that, I'll just call the video quits because it's gonna be a longish video, and I feel like I've detailed my opinions on this game enough. But overall, um, gonna mention the positive again. Positives. Music, I really like. Combat, um, I feel like it's more, it can get more deep than it is with the end variety that they add and everything. Um, I love the art style quite a lot. It's a very unique, cartoonish art style. Luch, like, very, um, not luch but themed. Oh, I'm stuck on that guy. Whoops, that was terrible. All right, well, I'll give it one more go. Just one more time every time. Music, great. Um, the art style, the combat, all that stuff. The controls, smooth and responsive, so the combat can be done with ease, at least on the controller. I'm not sure, again, about the keyboard, although I'm sure that it would be totally fine. I feel like this is a game meant for controller. It actually specifically says um, it recommends a controller. Um, uh, the start screen, similar to Super Meat Boy, just because the controller makes it a bit easier to do these sort of combos. So I guess I'll just wait here for him to break that, then jump. There we go. Ooh, I'm in the wrong place for this. Back here. Ooh, he's getting close. He's getting close. Head like that. Get me down. Oh, hey, look. Oh, there was just no way, was there? Alright, well, one more go. I was <laughs> I'm just gonna keep saying one more go. But that sort of looked like the axe from Mario in Bowser. So, and that's another thing that I forgot to mention. I really do like this game's sense of humor. It's quite, it's really, it doesn't take itself too seriously, and that's really nice. I don't like, I'm not a huge fan of games, like, uh, take themselves overly seriously when they're not really that serious at all. Like, this game has some serious elements to it. Like, if it wanted to play as a serious sort of luchador story, it could, but it's just better the way it is. It's better written the way it was. And I really liked it. There have been a lot of good humorous games lately, like Deadpool and stuff. But anyways, um, I'm just going to get annihilated by this guy again. Run. Oh, getting close again. I'm still very unaware of what I'm supposed to... Oh, that. There we go. And... Into the lava you go. That's some really deep lava. Oh, yeah. Luchador pose. On to the next place. Up, oh, it's her again. Sorry, Luchador, but your princess is in another castle. Oh, come on! I hated that when I was younger, and I hate it now. Another castle with my boyfriend, Kalaka! Ever since El Presidente's daughter has been 
the picture. My relationship with Kalaka has been ruined. And now you've gone and killed these pet alibrihe. The alibrihe I was taking care of. I would kill you where you stand, Luchador, but I have a trout to catch. A man to win over. Oh, and a man to win over. Well. Good thing those aren't mixed up. Anyways, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Um, no longer a contest going on. Sorry about that. And in my, uh, my full opinions of this game. Or not my full opinions, my first impressions of this game. I really enjoy pretty much everything about it. The combat feels like it could get a little bit stale, but I really enjoy it. The story feels like it's going somewhere and could definitely be a draw. But I don't feel like this game focuses too much on the story. The sense of humor is really nice. Overall, for... $10, $15, whatever this is worth, totally worth it. Give Drinkbox Studios your money. If you haven't already played it, then play it on PS3. If you're looking for multiplayer, um, I'd say PS3, but if you don't have a PS3, then PC, why not? Because pretty much everybody has one of those. Anyways, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and until next time, this is Triple Helix, signing off. Yeah!